Today I'm going to show you how to make masoub. And these are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need uh, two to three pitas, t pita bread. This is brown bread and it's uh, cut into small cubes or small squares. You're going to need three really ripe bananas. Don't use, you have to use the really soft ones. You're going to need some double fresh cream, some brown sugar, some white sugar, and some sunflower oil. Of course, you're going to need a pot and a wooden spoon. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is get, we're going to heat some oil. Okay, so we're going to need just a right amount to saute or to make the bread uh, a little bit brown. So as you can see, not too much, but not too little. So we're going to wait for this to heat and then we're going to add the bread. Okay, so I put one to test it and it's hot enough. We're going to have this. Now you want to brown these until they're crunchy before you add anything else to them. If you add the bananas or whatever now, they're going to get all soggy and you're not going to have that crunch. So this is going to take about 3 to 4 minutes. You want to make sure they're all nice and crunchy first. Alright, so these are all nice and crunchy now. Can you hear the crunch? All nice and crunchy. They're all nice and brown too. I mean, we already started with brown bread, but... Okay, so we're going to add the bananas. Now we use really ripe bananas, so it would mesh really well with these. So I actually made this recipe today because we had ripe bananas left over. So you want to mix this in. I'm going to add the sugar. I'm going to add the, the bananas since they're ripe, they're already very sweet. So I'm going to add one tablespoon of this sugar. You can add more if you would like. I'm going to get the brown sugar. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of this brown sugar. And I'm going to add about two tablespoons of cream. And we're going to give this a good mix for another two minutes. Alright, so this is the way I'm going to serve it. I'm going to keep that it has some chunks in it. Usually people squish it and make it really funky looking, but I, I'm going to prepare it like this. So, let's serve. Alright. Uh, you can add a little bit of cinnamon or nutmeg to this, but uh, this is the traditional way of making my soup. Enjoy!